It's an easy question. I'll classify this one as a GMAT 550 level problem solving practice question. From the topic simple interest, it's a word problem. The only thing I would advise in any of these questions, if it's an easy question, actually slow down a little bit. Don't be too slow. Slow down a little bit. Process the information correctly. Process everything in such a way that you interpret what is given correctly. Otherwise, what would happen is one of the few other answer options given will trip you into falling for the trap laid by the question setter. Let's read this question. Braun invested a certain sum of money at 8% per annum simple interest for n years. At the end of these n years, Braun got back four times his original investment. What is the value of n? Like this is the part where you need to interpret it carefully. Don't make many, any mistake there. Many a times people make mistake here and therefore get an incorrect answer. Let's get started. Key data given to us is rate R is equal to 8% per annum, simple interest investment. Amount that he got back at the end of this n years is equal to four times his original investment. So what he invested, if it is the principal that he put into it, then at the end of this period, he's going to get four times the principal. So let's call that the amount. So amount is equal to what he invested plus the interest that you would have earned for this period. So amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. One quick way of solving these questions is basically assuming a value for the principal. Let's go with $100 for principal. So the principal is $100. At the end of the 10 years, it's got four times that value. So he would have got back $400. This $400 includes the principal and the simple interest. It's not just the simple interest. So $400 is the amount he put in $100. So what should be the simple interest? The difference between these two, which is equal to $300. Sometimes we'll make the mistake of thinking that the simple interest earned is four times and we'll say that the simple interest is $400. Just don't make that mistake. All that is left is to plug in these values, 8%, 100 and 300 into the simple interest formula. Simple interest is equal to, we all know, is principal times the number of years into rate of interest per annum divided by 100. What is the simple interest that you got? It's $300. Our assumption for the principal is 100. That's why we got the simple interest to be 300. Number of years is what we are trying to compute into 8 is the rate of interest divided by 100. 100 gets cancelled with 100. So 8n is equal to 300 or the number of years n is equal to 300 upon 8. 300 upon 8 is 37.5 years. In terms of years and months, this will be 37 years and 6 months. So answer option D is the correct answer to this question. Let's quickly summarize it in a printed form. You're plugging in the value of principal, rate of interest and simple interest. Simple interest is equal to 300, principal is 100, rate of interest is 8. 100 gets cancelled with 100, 8n equals 300 or n is equal to 37.5 years or 37 years and 6 months. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash Vizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.